Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between a news post and a news link. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, when you try to add news to your sites uh, via the news web part, you have two options, news post and, and news link. And by the way, uh, most of the uh, sites you, know, cr you create, they by default have the uh, this news widget already, uh, but in case if you don't, uh, it's very, very e easy to add one. Uh, let me show you. It's actually called news. Uh, again, I already have it. I'm just showing you how to add one if you don't have it already. So here it is. I just literally a widget that allows you to publish uh, news and announcements. That, that's all it is. Uh, but let me go back to the topic of this particular video. So um, when you do add this uh, widget, this web part to your uh, to your page, your communication site, you know, your a team site, uh, you do have two options, news post and news link. So I want to explain to you the difference. And I, I also want to explain to you what, I, what happens behind the scene, the scenes when you, uh, when you add those. So uh, let me show you. So the news link is for situations when you already have an article maybe somewhere on the web and you want to uh, to pretty much uh, just paste the URL. Um, and um, let me uh, use this as an example. I have uh, my one of my blog posts, all right? It could be pretty much any article from any news source, uh, any uh, website. And you just, all you need to do here is, there is very little work for you. All you need to do here is just paste the URL. And what actually happens, it uh, pretty much grabs the information from that, uh, from the existing article. Uh, the images, the text, uh, the description, and pretty much pre-populates it for you. You can obviously, you know, tweak it. All right, uh, you can tweak it if you want. You know, modify the text. You know, edit it, delete it. Uh, but pretty much for the most part, it's done for you. The experience is very similar to how you know how when you um, embed an article on Facebook or LinkedIn, it pre-populates uh, it for you with images and you know text from that particular article. Same idea, same idea here. So again. Uh, I don't need to make any more modifications. I hit post and my article will be posted, right? Uh, so that's um, um, that's what happens when you add a news uh, link. When you add a news post, all right, this is for situations when you want to publish your own news, all right? When you don't have anything existing, you just want to type it up and publish your own news, um, you know, news and announcement. So all you need to do is just, you know, click uh, news post. Uh, behind the scenes, it actually creates the page uh, for that, and uh, you just give it a name. And again, you know, um, you know, you can probably add a bunch of text and uh, uh, and images, whatever your announcement is all about. We hit post news, and I, again, our second uh, article has been published right here. They would appear in the reverse chronological order. And now let me show you uh, what happens behind the scenes when you publish your news and announcements. I remember I published a couple of uh, uh, a couple of uh, uh, news posts already. So behind the scenes, what actually happens? It creates a page for each and every article. Uh, let me prove it to you. Gear icon, site contents, site pages. Site pages is the library for pages, just like you have a library for documents. You know, Word, Excel, PDF, all that stuff. Site pages is the dedicated library for um, site pages. And let's see what's happening here. So here's my home page. That's pretty much my regular, you know, my regular home page right here. Okay. And the main, you know, page of the site. And then look at this. I have I have two um, you know, two up, uh, news posts that I published. And every time I create a news post, even though I created this one from a link, remember, uh, it creates a page. It creates a page, you know, behind the scenes. Um, all right, so and uh, um, you can tweak it, of course, uh, etc. But uh, very important to note, it actually creates a page. So here is my main page plus a page for each and every news post. Now, sometimes, obviously, when you have lots of pages, lots of news posts, uh, it might be hard to kind of figure out what is what. So let me show you a trick how you can uh, distinguish uh, between the two. Uh, be, uh, you know, be, between all these different pages. So uh, all you need to do is just show a particular column. So you click uh, add a column, but we're not going to add a column. We're just going to 
uh, show a column that already exists. And here we go. It's called promoted state right here. And let me actually push it a little bit up so it's a little bit more obvious. Hit apply. Now I'm actually resuming this video after a few brief minutes uh, because uh, I didn't want to waste your time. Uh, so what I did, I created a few uh, additional um, you know, uh, news posts and pages that you see over here. So if you notice, um, uh, we have different codes here and I want to explain to you what they all mean. Uh, we have either zero, one, or two. So I want to explain to you uh, what each one of them means. Uh, zero means uh, it's a page, all right? So just by looking uh, at the promoted state, if it says zero, it means it's a page, not a, a news post, uh, not a news link, it's a page. Doesn't matter, published, not published, uh, it gets a zero next to it. Uh, when you see one, it means it's a news post that is uh, that, that has been created but not published. All right, so it's essentially if somebody hit uh, add, you know, news uh, post, uh, you know, po created the post, um, uh, created the post, but did not publish it. So uh, you see right now, if I post this news, then it will uh, change from one to two. Let me uh, demonstrate uh, this to you uh, right here. Um, so remember how it used to be one uh, because it was a news post that was not published. Well, I just published it and now it became two. All right, and then two obviously means uh, that it's a news post that has been published. Remember the two previous news posts and the one I just published. I mean, essentially all of them are published right now, so they all get twos. So again, you have zero, one, or two, and uh, it gives you kind of additional information, uh, at least uh, some extra information, uh, whether it's a news post uh, or uh, just a regular, you know, SharePoint page. Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you today in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.